It's been a good time. We've been talking for the last four hours, We've I think. Been talking a while. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually a cool morning this morning. I say cool. It's it's gonna be in the mid low 70s, but the humidity level seems way better than it has been. All this rain. I mean, we're in central Alabama, so I mean, it's extremely humid here to start with, but got a lot of overcast here this morning, and I can hear a breeze in the trees, and the humidity seems way, way better than it has been in the last several weeks. Mrs. Kyle has ran over to the sod farm to pick up three pallets of sod and she'd already fed the goats on her way out. Mary Cross checking on her chicks up there at the top. So I'm fixing to finish up the rest of the chores then we're gonna put out some sod. But the good thing today is we're having a special guest another homesteader that's coming by big youtube channel it's gonna be an awesome day who wants some hay <laughs> well y'all laid up this morning ain't you i don't blame you it feels good feels pretty good don't it What's up, Fifi? Bo? Bo, what you smelling? Huh? What you smelling, Bo? Gonna get you some water this morning, Fifi? Help yourself. Here comes the alarm system. Mama done fed them this morning. Oh, big C in the back. y'all go get you some water this morning topper boy you looking mighty handsome this morning buddy yes you are look at your skirt you look like you could be in a show you waiting on this water all right you can get it come on get it hmm nope you probably want some hay. Told you I was bringing y'all some hay and I got you water instead. Didn't I? Don't be mad to me. Alright, now I'm fixing to get you hay. Before I go grab that hay, we get asked about this plant over by our barn. What is it? And it's a type of spider lily. I forget the exact name of this one. Um, it's very beautiful. Uh, Brooke found it at an old homestead site. I think she just got one little chunk. I mean, not much at all. And look how big it's gotten. It's, it's huge. It's beautiful, though. Absolutely beautiful. Just gorgeous. I mean, it looks like something you see on Avatar or something. All right, let's get that hay before the goats fire me. I don't want to get fired by the goats. Or Scott. Getting fired by peaches is one thing, but getting fired by these guys, I think they're okay because the hay's in here and they just been eating it off the top here. That's why they ain't biting at the bit for some hay. But the boys, they gonna want some hay. What's up, buddy? 
Why are you over here this morning? That's odd. You ain't blocking the road. Hey boys, I need y'all on y'all's best behavior today. Got some company coming over now. We don't need any. Oh, Scott. We don't need any shenanigans going around. You know what I'm saying? Best behavior. Okay. Pinky swear. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right, move, Joe. While we're over here, we can't walk by without checking the figs. I don't see any. Still loaded. Everything looks good. All right. Just making sure there ain't a couple getting ripe on us. Hate for them to go to waste. That's so good. What's up, Sim Sim? What's up, buddy? Now there's a little baby, look. <laughs> look at all four of them. All four of them are protecting that little baby. Look at that little goslin in the middle of all four of those geese right there. It's amazing how it's like a whole community thing with him. Just awesome. I think that's a snow mallard. Is that what you are? I'll have to ask the chicken master. Let's get the infamous purple bucket filled up. So the sheriff won't fire me <clears throat> or arrest me more like it. And that's why he's called the uh, roadblock off and Scott's over to the side. I don't know. All right, this goes to the hook bills and the uh, Egyptian geese. I had somebody ask, why do I throw the duck's food and the geese food over here in this watery area? They waterfowl like to mix their feed with water. That's why. And this is kind of like a natural spring right here. And that's why we throw it over here. If you're a duck owner or waterfowl owner, you know exactly what I mean. And speaking of ducks and waterfowl, there's the hook bill right there. And that's a Egyptian goose, two Egyptian geese right there. Get in their new feathers in. What's up guys? Look at that hook bill. Isn't it beautiful? And that one's wings are straightened out. It does that typically with us right when the feathers are coming in, but you see how that one's wings are straight? They'll straighten out. That one's got all of its full adult feathers in. That one, you can still see the baby feathers still in it. What is up, Venus? Isn't that a beautiful duck? That hook bill is so distinct. All right, and that's the Indian runner who is Venus's buddy. Not quite for sure what its name is, but. All right, guys, hey, we have got some company coming over today. Yeah, we do. Y'all be on your best behavior now. I had put this fence up because I planted some grass seed in there to keep the animals out. And I see some of us trying to come up in there, but I don't know if it's worth keeping that up or not. They were gonna come back and put some sod in there anyways, like we have been doing. 
you know we get those uh scrap pallets and then we just kind of spread it out and it eventually faster than you think spreads out and connects so if you're on a budget just remember that what's up go what's going on g-o-a-t she don't want to talk to me this morning that's all right i don't blame her uh-oh maybe that's why she ran off right yonder she saw the farm boss coming down here she knew she better straighten her act up i guess you know let the sheriff out this morning come on sheriff Hope you're having a wonderful morning. Give me some of that. What's up, Corny? What's up, buddy? What's up, crazy looking chicken? My main buddy ACDC. What's going on, back in black? Um, I still get people asking about our setup here on top of our barrels. So we had chickens roosting on our feed barrels, and of course it was just covering it in, you know, poop, because that's when chickens do the most of their pooping when they're sleeping. Um I got these from Amazon. They're actually made for pigeons more than anything. Like if you had a building and had pigeons on it. Uh, pigeon protector, something like that. So if you if you look that up on Amazon, you'll be able to find them. I think I have them in our Amazon store. If you look in the bottom of the, the video in the video description, I got a little Amazon link to our Amazon, to our Amazon store and it shows you everything that's possibly on our farm that you can buy off amazon there um i think it used to be there i'll try to double check and look and see but all i did was cut out a piece of wood the width of the barrel and screw these little spikes down on there they got screw holes in it and then that um that keeps them from roosting up here they'll fly up here and then the um of course the spikes uncomfortable and they jump back down so that's what that's for acdc you're looking mighty proud <laughs> Up there on that swing. You sure do. Nugget, you talking to Thomas this morning? What's up, Tommy? Now, I've had people wondering, wanting to know how long Thomas is going to be locked up. Well, as most of y'all know, Scott beat up Thomas pretty good. And... It, it was it was bad we didn't think thomas was gonna make it scott whooped him up really 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 good so for his safety we're just gonna leave him in here until we get things situated at the new place i mean thomas has been here for a couple years we've never had this issue before so this is something new he's perfectly fine in here maybe i'll put two um juvenile turkeys in here with him uh, I mean, it stays clean in here, as y'all can see. I just don't want to take a risk of letting Thomas out, and the next time may not, you know, we may not be able to to save him. Um, so we're just gonna leave Thomas in here for now. He's perfectly fine. When we get everything situated out to the new farm, Thomas will have his own area. I mean, is this ideal situation? No, it's not. Absolutely, we totally know this, but. I just can't take a risk of Thomas getting beat up again by Scott. And this time, you know, it's way worse than what it was. So for now, for Thomas's safety, he's staying in his kennel. Also know we had some people wanting to know why wouldn't we maybe swap up like every other week or something, take Thomas out and put Scott in there. Catching Scott is not gonna be easy. That's something we don't wanna do. And plus, catching thomas really 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 stresses him out very badly um so th this is just way better this is a way better situation i promise you it's way better so thomas will get his own pad at the new farm hey buddy you're gonna be on some good behavior today just don't arrest anybody okay we got some company coming over yeah it's our buddy 
keeping it Dutch and his whole family. Yeah. They swinging by today. They're on their way back from Florida. Yeah. So I want you to be on your best, best behavior, okay? All right. Scott, too. I hear you, Scott. You hear that? Woo, Scott. He's on it this morning. Yes, sir. All right. Might have to get you to help me clean out that chicken coop later, okay? High five. All right, let's go. What's up there, Tuck? Right before I was fixing the feed, I mean, fill the pool up. Look who walked in. I'm here. <laughs> Where's me, Carl? She uh, went home and get some to eat. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm back. You back. What can I help you do? Um, all I really like is filling the waters up. Okay. And then I'm going to start cleaning coops out. Okay. Or do you think we ought to put sod out first? Um, it's up to you. Let's put... I got some really crunchy sod. Yeah. It's been sitting for a day. Okay. So they said it would be fine. I just need to get it put out and put some water on it. Okay. So maybe we should do that first. Okay, we'll do that then. I'll go ahead and finish and the water. I'm about waters. to have to have me something to eat. Go get you something to eat. Okay. Do you want me to fix you something? Might as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I will be back. Okay. Hello, my lovely hydrangeas. Let's go put some sod out. Look who's coming down here to help with the sod. The mamas, the daddies, and the baby. <laughs> Y'all come on, help us with this sod. We could use a good hand or two. like a fresh clean chicken coop. That's all right girls. No that's right. What's up girl? What you doing halfway out? Somebody in there with you? No, I ain't gonna mess with you. I ain't gonna mess with you. Have at it. The nursery is clean. And the Polish coop clean. All right. Everybody's ready for their second feeding. Come on. Come on. Y'all go eat. Y'all, it's evening time. Animal cracker. Boots. Bo, you want one? All right. I bought two bags of ice so we can just put ice in cups. Okay. Should I just put it in a cooler? Yeah. Which one? That blue one with the. You think? Yeah, I bought two. So okay. I think I put one in here. Okay. All right, boots. We feed our goats twice a day, one in the morning, once in the evening. We, we just don't show the evening time. Y'all always see the morning time feeding, but that's just because of time. What's up, guys? Okay. You don't have to feed your goats twice a day. It's just what we do. Um, our 
my buddy Terry at Old South Goat Farm. It used to be Old South Goat Farm. That's what she did, and that's just kind of what we've done since. But you don't have to do that. You can feed them one time a day. But ours, once they get trained to something, that's just what they get trained to do. Got us some drinks. Got us some drinks, and I'm gonna go get us some pizza. That'll work. We're just waiting on Dutch and his crew. We do gotta come visit yeah. y'all. We do gotta come visit you guys. That'd be, that'd be a good. Uh, What'd you think about Alabama? Man, I love Alabama. You like Alabama? Yeah, we actually come down here. Tried to come down once a year to. Uh, we go to a church conference in. Um, Brandy, where's it? Brandy, where's that at? True church conference, Muscle Shoals. How oh, far is that from here? Three hours. Yeah, it takes about eight hours. But uh, there's a lot of a lot of nice southern people down here in Alabama. It is. You can handle the heat and humidity. It's just like Oklahoma. It's ninety percent humidity in Oklahoma really? right now. Yeah. Yeah, this just feels like a, this feels like home to us, like the weather. Yeah. But your place is way nicer than what oh, we got man, going on. I appreciate that. I love this place. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys you guys stopped by. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it worked out good because it worked out really good. Right by your place and was it that far off track? No, really? no. I bet we're probably 30 minutes off track. That ain't nothing. Oh, wow. No, ain't nothing. Oh, that's awesome. So. It's been a good time. We've been talking for the last four hours, We've I think. Been talking a while. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget the video. I know. That's, that's why I said, hey, we, I need to get my video out of the way before it gets dark. <laughs> I always forget the video. So that's why we, that's what we came by because I want to show my yeah. audience you got. That's and you got vice going versa. On. Absolutely. For everybody to go see Keeping It yeah, Dutch. Yeah, Keeping It Dutch. Awesome YouTube channel. <laughs> So awesome. So we've been friends for a long time. I don't know if they, for, for a while. So we've done collaborations before. And you know what's crazy? I think a lot of people don't know how tight the YouTube community yep. is. Especially if you've been a you've been around over five years. I've been over seven years. Yeah. You've been around as long as me and you. You make a lot of contacts. You do. And uh, you make some friends. A lot of good friends. Scenes. A lot of good yep. friends. Yep. Some not so good, but the majority I'm pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, so y'all are about in the same boat as we are. Just bought like 40 acres. Yep. Just sold your 10 acres. Yep. And fixed and built a house. We're, I think we're about a week ahead of you guys. I think you're about a week we, ahead we, of us. We got our. Is that Scott? That's Scott. Scott's been yelling at me since I got here. I don't know. But we, we just got the camper delivered out to our, our 36 and a half acres. That's awesome. And um, we're going to be living it full time within the next week. And that's so crazy because we are very, very seriously thinking about buying a camper. So we can move out there. Get out there quicker. And yeah, so we'll be right there back. Yep. We'll be right there back. Because once this place sells, we're going to be gone. Yeah. yeah. You got a lot of moving to do, don't you? <sighs> hey, if I come back by, I'll help you get all these animals gathered up. I don't know, though. <laughs> Bring your trailer. I know, right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Luckily, we do have a little two horse trailer. Now, do do I get to take some home with me? If I sure. Do? Okay. Yeah. I want Peaches. I want Scott. Uh, uh, ACDC. Is that one of them? ACDC. Where are they at? Um, Nugget. <laughs> Nugget. Those that's are the funny. ones that we're taking. That's so funny. Well, man, I'm so glad you stopped by. I thanks just, thanks for having us, man. We appreciate and, um, it. Appreciate it's so it. nice to meet people in person. Yes. You know, online, you yep. know, but when you meet somebody in person, it's... You know, that's been awesome, man. It's like, been awesome. Your daughter and my daughter have been going oh, around. They've been, they've they've been, been playing gone in, for an hour. They've been playing in <laughs> hornet's nests and all kinds of stuff. Hope got stung in the leg. <laughs> yeah, they've been gone for an hour. We ain't seen them in a while. Oh, me. Well, man, good to have you, man. Yeah, brother. I appreciate you having yes, us, sir. man. Uh, sorry about the audio guys i have no idea what happened the first part of the audio didn't record when dutch and his family came shown if y'all don't know who keeping it dutch is y'all go check out his channel i'll put a link down below awesome awesome family and also if you're interested in any of our podcasts go check that out right over here we sit around tell stories have a great great time laugh it up have fun and our merch is right down below me that link's right down below me and as always y'all be good